Hi, welcome to Right Size Your Life. I'm Jenna Shemaleski, Seniors Real Estate Specialist with ERA Reardon Realty. On today's show, we're gonna talk about solutions to some of the difficult decisions we have to make. As we or our loved ones age, we have some decisions to make. Do we stay in the home and add services? Do we maybe choose another living environment? With me today, I have Katie Rivest with Care Patrol of Southern Michigan. She is a senior care consultant. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it was nice to be here. So tell us a little bit about Care Patrol. Care Patrol helps people find independent living, assisted living, um, in-home care, and respite care. We go through a long process with our clients and find out what their care needs are, what their, um, what their interests are, where they would be most comfortable to spend the last few years. Um, and then we take them on a tour. We narrow down the selection to a couple, maybe two or three different facilities that we think might be a good fit. And then we take them on a personal tour and go through and meet the staff and find out what their activities are and what the accommodations are and things like that so that they can make a good informed decision. How do you charge for these services? Care Patrol is a free service. So we have contracts with the area communities that we negotiate and so they share a portion of their care and rent with us um, during, after that first month. Okay. Um, so you've mentioned some of the different living options available in the Jackson and surrounding areas. Uh, what do you work with? We work with independent living. So that's like um, owning or renting a condo. So you're all by your, you know, still able to cook for yourself and clean and do your grocery shopping and things like that. Um, and then there is assisted living where there is a care team that's there to help you with your um, activities of day, daily living. So like the cleaning and the cooking, um, any maintenance that you might need help with, medication management. Um, if you need help getting in and out of the bathroom, um, going to the toilet and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there is memory care. So that is a locked facility um, where you are treated and helped along the path um, during your dementia. Um, and then there's in-home care where folks will come into your home and help you with little tasks like cleaning and cooking and maybe they'll even take you to the grocery store um, and it can be as simple as just a companion to play a, a game or put a puzzle together with you in the afternoon mm -hmm. um, and then finally there's the respite care so a lot of folks are living at home with maybe a family member and maybe that family member is gonna go on vacation or go on a business trip uh, for an extended amount of time so we can arrange help arrange for a respite care which you live in a community for two weeks up to a couple of months so it's got to be very interesting and very specific to get with these families and understand what's going to be the best fit financially mm -hmm, mm -hmm. personally socially yeah. mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what are some of the things how do you get to know what's going to be a good fit for each older adult. Yeah, during that care discovery, we call it, we have all of those questions and we have a database that we put those answers in. Um, and we go through things like what your favorite meal is, maybe like, what do you like to do? Do you like to sit by the window and look outside and watch the birds and, and the deer? Or would you like to be closer to town where you can walk down to the corner and go to the grocery store or something like that? Um, and it's, so we get in pretty good into a lot of detail mm -hmm. um, to find out what those likes and dislikes are so that we can match your wants and needs up with the care community that we suggest. Very nice. Um, there have been a few providers offering similar services as yours. Mm -hmm. What makes Care Patrol of Southern Michigan different? Care Patrol started when there was a gentleman that was in a situation. He was trying to find a place for his mom. Um, and he was given pamphlets and 1-800 numbers and he could make phone calls and things like that, but there really wasn't that personal interaction. Mm -hmm. um, 
And so he, he discovered that there's a real need for that. And so he started Care Patrol and here we are. It's been quite some time, 30 years later, <laughs> um, Care Patrol is, is doing that type of thing and really providing that personal service. Great. Um, can you give me a recent story, maybe a success story that you've had? Yeah, there was a family that I got to meet. I got a phone call from the hospital, actually. Their family member was in the hospital, but she was ready to be discharged. They had no reason to keep her there. And so I took the family's information and gave them a phone call and found out uh, where they would like to go. And by 5.30 that night, we were meeting at an area community and we toured and they absolutely fell in love with it. Um, they moved mom into that community with, I think it was 48 hours. Um, she moved in and is, is there now and, and very happy and thriving and doing, doing very well. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And what's great about that is that, you know, we don't always have the time to make these decisions. And right. thank goodness that that fam mm -hmm. family was able to get connected to you mm -hmm. so quickly mm -hmm. upon discharge because you don't always know when your loved one's getting discharged. Right, right. And you were and able to meet mm -hmm. those needs immediately. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Any yeah. other good success stories? Um, yeah, actually, there is another one. So there's, this was a family that it took quite some time. They just, their mom had, has dementia and they just knew that the time was coming that she was gonna need a little more help than what they could provide her. Yeah. Um, she wanted to stay home for as long as possible, but they were really worried that she would end up wandering mm -hmm. um, and they didn't want anything to happen to her. So we took a lot of time. We visited multiple communities all over Jackson County, um, <laughs> trying to find a place that was in the country that was theirs. They requested that it was someplace in the country because that's what they were used to. That's what they knew. Yeah. Um, and we actually found a place and she has moved in and is doing very well and very happy and thriving. And, and they are happy knowing that they can stay home um, and be, comfortable knowing that she's safe and awesome. she's well taken care of and doing doing good. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if um, an older adult or a family member of a loved one that's in need of your services, how do they contact you? The best way to get a hold of me is through a, either a text message or phone call and I can be reached at 517-740-1992 or um, I do have an email at K Rivest, which is spelled R I V E S T, at carepatrol.com. Perfect. Katie, thank you so much. Your services are invaluable, and um, I know that our community will really appreciate what you have to offer. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us. If you have any need, again, I'm Jenna Shemaleski, Seniors Real Estate Specialist with ERA Reardon Realty. I'm happy to meet with you again. You can call me at 517-937-5232 or you can email me at RealtorJennaCares. I hope you have a fantastic day and take care.